Open Heavens on the Go. Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. Topic, More Than Healing. Memory verse, John 7, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Bible reading, Mark 16, 17 to 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The message. My God is the all-sufficient one, and he is very generous. When he wants to heal, he heals completely. While doctors often caution on the side effects of prescribed medication, there are no side effects with divine healing. When God heals you, he heals completely. Some years ago, the wound from a surgery conducted on a woman refused to heal because of her advanced age. I told her daughter to bring a handkerchief, prayed on it, and asked her to put it on her mother. She did so, and by the next day, not only was the wound healed, they could not find any scar where the doctors had operated. When my God heals, he does it completely. Beyond complete healing, God is so generous that he can go further to make sure you are never sick again. Exodus 15.26 says, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and we give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. If you make holiness your lifestyle, God can make it such that sickness will become a stranger to you. Beyond making sure, that you don't fall sick again, my God is so generous that he can allow his healing virtue to start flowing through you. All these can be available to you under certain conditions. Firstly, you must be a child of God because healing is children's meat. Matthew 15, 21-28 My God is not a healing contractor. He only heals those who are his children. Once in a while, he could heal an unbeliever on credit, expecting the fellow to become a member of his family by accepting Jesus as his or her Lord and Savior. If, however, the fellow still refuses to become born again, then a worse sickness could follow. John 5.14 to so get to the level of overflowing healing virtue by which you will be healing others, you must also have faith. Mark 16, 17 to 18 says, You must be a believer. With faith, lay hands on people who need healing, and sooner than later, you will begin to see them being healed. Prayer point. Father, Please anoint me so powerfully that I will begin to heal the sick in Jesus' name. Father, please anoint me so powerfully that I will begin to heal the sick in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year. 2 Kings 4-5 Him for today. The great physician now is near. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, 
God bless you.